Kwenye kwa marsabit ni kwamba waziri wa usalama wa kitaifa Dr. Fred Matiangi amekutana na viongozi wa kidini baada ya serikali kuongeza muda wa kafiu katika kaunti hiyo ili kurejesha amani. Baada ya waziri Matiangi baada ya anatarajiwa kuelekea katika kituo cha polisi mjini humo ambapo wataonyesha silaha ambazo zilitwaliwa na maafisa wa usalama katika operesheni ya mwezi mmoja. Na narefiwa hivi sasa anazungumza na wanahabari kutoka kituo cha polisi. Hebu tusikize anaendelea. We are in Marsabit County and uh, we are reviewing Operation Rejashamani, Marsabit. I'm here with uh, my colleagues, uh, the Inspector General of the National Police Service, the Deputy Inspector General, the Regional Security Team and the Commanders of this uh, operation. Uh, we were required by the National Security Council to review this operation, so we started first of all with meetings with the commanders and the team that is working on this operation, which is roughly about a month old. Uh, so one, we are very grateful and, and uh, we want to thank our officers who have been on this operation because for the last one month that they have been here, frankly we have not had any, uh, any worrisome incidents of security in this place. We have had so many meetings with the uh, members of the public. One are very happy about uh, the, the operation and the curfew. We have met religious leaders, uh, members of the Marsabit Interfaith Council. We are about to have a meeting with the political leadership uh, of this county. And then we have had a long chat with the, the administrators here, the chiefs, assistant chiefs and the others. So we have gotten very useful feedback on how the operation is going on. So far, over 200 guns have been collected and over 3,000 bullets have been uh, recovered from this operation. We are hoping that uh, more work in the second month of this operation, because we extended the curfew by another 30 days, more work will be done so that we can recover more guns. Because we believe uh, from intelligence and uh, the information we have that there are more guns than the ones that we have collected. And the message we have been passing around to leaders and everyone since morning is that we need uh, to recover more guns. We will review this operation when we have uh, around 3,000 or so guns because we believe there are still many more guns in wrong hands. Um, we have intensified the operation uh, and now we are moving to other sections of the county in addition to um, Marsabit Central and the, 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 the town. I'm very optimistic that we will continue at this pace, we will get all the guns we need, and most importantly, we will keep this place peaceful. Uh, the response we have from the local leaders, the community leaders here, and ordinary members of the public, we took time to walk around the shops, to talk to the shopkeepers and the traders in, in town. They are happy and satisfied with this operation. They have not raised any complaints about the operation. What they are asking is whether or not we can review the hours of the operation to allow for uh, traders to hang on a bit in their businesses. But that in itself is a positive sign because they are now beginning to think about operating businesses longer hours, which is something they have not been thinking about until the operation. But I have promised that we will review the operation in another three to four weeks and subject to the performance at that time, we will see whether we can review the operation by one hour or two hours to address the issue of the uh, traders in town who want an additional one hour of business and because they are happy with the operation and they are happy that they, you know it is working. So we will stay on this assignment uh, until this place remains peaceful. We have made assurances that uh, we will not end the operation until after the general elections because we want this place to be peaceful during the campaigns, uh, during the elections and even after the general elections. That is what Wanainji I want to uh, uh, happen and we will keep that uh, in place. Uh, once again I want to thank uh, our police officers and the team that has uh, done the work they have done here, Inspector General and his team, 
Uh, my friend Bertha and the special DC was posted here. Uh, through the decision of the National Security Council, that method has actually worked. That proposal has worked. The place is much more peaceful than it has, it has been. We are going to carry out a raft of other measures uh, to ensure that Marsabit remains peaceful. Because what we are doing now, we don't want temporary peace. We want sustainable and long-term peace so that this place can realize its economic potential and people can go on to do what they need to do. And, and uh, the, the truth of the matter also is that the, this conflict and these challenges here have nothing to do do with the ordinary one ninety per se. A bit of it is uh, politically uh, motivated. A bit of it is uh, uh, a challenge caused by the proximity to the border, and uh, some of the uh, things that we have allowed to happen over a long period of time. So we will do. We will adopt an all of the above approach. We are going to do intensified screening, uh, you know, of peoples and, and and individuals who move around where they are doing business or whatever they are doing, to ensure that we don't have you know alien and wrong people around here. Uh, we will continue to have a communal engagement with members of the, the public. We are going to intensify our workings with the Interfaith Council to ensure that community leaders are involved in the decisions that we make. But most importantly, we have this morning taken a decision to do a 100% review of the administrative infrastructure in Marsabit because there are very fundamental weaknesses here. I mean, I am not going to lie to the public. The challenges we have with the deployment we have here of chiefs, assistant chiefs and so on, is such that unless we address it, we will not solve the problem we have. The way that some of the chiefs, assistant chiefs may have been recruited in the past was outside because of a political pressure and sometimes too much attention to irrelevant things like clan affiliation and so on and so forth. And in the process, many of the administrators actually, you can tell from the way they are working, have got their loyalties elsewhere. Not, not in providing peace and security to the local people. And that's why some of them are not as forthcoming when it comes to uh, giving information and cooperating with the security uh, agencies who are here. We have too many uh, 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 security teams in Marisabed to have even a single security incident. When you look at overall deployment of security resources per capita, this is probably one of the counties that is most manned by security uh, teams. We have more boots on the ground here in Marisabed than we do in over 80% of the counties in the country. So why should we have a problem? It could be a, a, a challenge in terms of uh, reorganizing our administrative infrastructure so that it's much more cohesive, it works better in a multi-agents manner, cooperate with the others better. We have, uh, you know, because we are closer to the, a border, we have KDF deployment that is looking at the border. But we also have very uh, strong presence of police, the special, special teams of the police on the ground. So we are reviewing all this and answering that question because that is what the National Security Council asked us to do. They're asking us, how is it that with the numbers that we have on the ground and with the people who are posted here, we can have such uh, uh, security problems? And we have identified the problems. Sometimes uh, uh, poor coordination among us, our security teams, uh, infiltration and interference sometimes by politics, uh, you know, and so on. So we will review all this and uh, we will come back again after one month now to institute a proper system. We are going to retrain our administrators here, our local administrators, our assistant chiefs and, uh, and chiefs in Marisabit, all of them have to be retrained. And we, we have agreed this morning, we are going to work, because fortunately we have a template, we have a program, uh, you know, that we use at the office of the president. We will do uh, a local uh, a, a program here and retrain them all over again and reorient them to what they need to do. We will review each one of them. And those who can pass master will see and look at the records of performance and so on. Because there is no reason why a county that is so endowed like this one should have such small problems that are now inhibiting economic growth and development. I mean, all of you wonderful people, look around this county, even when you drive along this town. I mean, there is almost nothing you cannot do here. I mean, tourism can thrive here. All man of business, we are very close to a very important border here and so on. This is a place whose economy should grow in an accelerated manner if we keep the peace and the determination of government. That's why.